I just want to shave everything off and start all over. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video today talking about my natural hair horror stories and the point of this video is to kind of help people who are newly natural or in their natural hair journey. Um, it's, it's to give advice, you don't have to take it. The first natural hair horror story happened in 2014 and if you guys didn't know I went natural in 2011. So up until 2014, I was taking care of my own hair and I was doing a good job at it. I don't even know why I went to the, nat the African braiding spot. In 2014, I was going through a lot, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to get, have somebody else do my hair because I don't want to deal with it right now. So I went to the Africans, mistake number one. Just And, and, and honestly, I love my African brothers and sisters, but just because they're African don't mean they know how to do African textured hair. <laughs> like seriously, just because you're Nigerian doesn't mean you know how to handle hair that's tougher than Nigerian hair. So I went to the girl, the lady or whatever, and right away I should have known that she was going to jack up my hair because like her hair was relaxed so that just lets you know like they don't even want to deal with their own natural hair so what makes you think they want to deal with yours and she had on this terrible wig like she like you could tell her hair was relaxed because she had some of her actual hair out and she had this wig on and I was just like girl that's the thing I would never understand about my African brothers and sisters like y'all be having the most struggle wigs like watch African movies like they be having the struggle wigs on and I'm just like I mean you cute but that wig like what's really good with that wig so I went and right away old girl when she took off the scarf she was like oh man you have really thick hair where are you from I was like oh I'm from Ghana and she was like yeah I can tell like I mean y'all have like a lot of hair on your heads and I was like is she coming for me right now she started doing my hair and tell me how she pulls out a rat tail comb. Like, what is a rat tail comb gonna do on my thick ass forcey hair? And then she started parting it and then she saw like, the thing about my hair is I never detangle to my roots because, I mean, why? Why would I do that? So this is how you know I was going through a lot because I knew she was gonna have issues parting my hair but I didn't care so she started parting my hair and I'm telling you them parts <laughs> them parts she was parting was so painful so she was parting my hair and then um while she was while well, as she was parting it she was putting blue magic on my scalp like greasing my scalp with blue magic and I know that's not a big deal to some of y'all, but to me at the time, and still kind of now, I would never put blue magic on my hair because it's so cheap. Blue magic, I, I, you know how many times I found blue magic in the 99 cent store? So she was parting my hair and putting blue magic on my scalp, and I was just like, you know what, I came here, it was my decision to come here and have her do that to my hair. So she was putting blue magic, and through the course of her doing my hair i guess it she was getting frustrated so she pulls out a blow dryer so she was blow drying my hair with that greasy ass blue magic in my hair and a, and combing it out with a rat tail comb like you guys i knew i was like i know i know my hair is not gonna do well i just knew as she was doing it that my hair wasn't gonna do well but I sat in that chair and I stayed to this day I do not understand why I still think about things that I could have done like I could have gotten up at this point I could have left at this point but I just didn't I just did not I just sat there and let her do all that shit to my hair so I had that those braids in for about a month and a half and when I took out those braids my hair was legit see-through like you could see through my hair 
and all these years later my hair never fully recovered and never fully recovered from that and I've tried everything y'all I've tried bentonite clay washes um I even tried cutting because the part that suffered the most was the back of my hair um I'm telling you I used to have thick long not long long but it was like my hair was like this long and it was thick you could not see through it you could not see you could try as you may you could not see through my hair and now it's like you can see through it so my next horror story was recently and I did a whole video on it and it was about it was when I did the when I went and straightened my hair now I did a whole video on it but to keep things short um, I went to the natural hair salon thinking that they would, um, they would better know how to handle my hair because I wanted, I wanted to straighten it and I wanted to straighten it because I kind of missed the relaxed hair and I didn't want to go back to relaxer so I felt like my next best option was to straighten it so I straightened it. And I was quickly over it, you guys. I was quickly over it, the whole straight look on me. But that whole experience of being in a natural hair salon for the first time was lackluster to me. First of all, I think I went on the worst day I could have possibly went, which is on the weekend. Yeah, the lady who did my hair was... Well, all the people who touched my hair that day acted like they never dealt with 4C hair. And I know they have, but... The way they were combing my hair, you guys, yes, it was with a um, wide tooth comb, but they were still combing it like they had no sense. They didn't, okay, actually, they didn't ruin my hair, but they ruined the experience of what I thought it was going to be like. Because I'm not going to lie, when I washed out, when I washed my hair, my hair went right back to being what it was. Um, it was a, It was healthier, I will say that, because they did do the lady who did my hair did a nice little trim so my hair was looking good um after that first wash i was like yes like they really did it for me but um yeah it was just like less of the experience so it wasn't necessarily a horror story it was it was the experience wasn't that great because she was kind of just raking through my hair and with the the iron she was using to flat iron my hair she would almost always have the iron touch my actual skin and i was just like it just wasn't it i say all of that to say this um with everything that's happened to my hair throughout the years um i have come to this kind of conclusion that i do want to cut my hair I do want to and, and somebody the person who really inspired me to cut it is I believe her name is Jenny 1415 I hope that's her name on YouTube but she cut it really 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 short and I kind of want to go shorter than that because and, and I have been thinking about this heavily and if I do cut it it's gonna be in the beginning of 2018 because I really miss what my hair was in 2012 like and I feel like the only way I'm gonna be able to get that back is if I cut everything off and just start all over because it's just not what my like you don't know how much I want to come on here on YouTube and just sit here with my natural hair big but I always put it on in ponytails because I, it's just not what I want it's just not what it was you know what I'm saying um, if you notice like most of the time when I come here and do these videos my hair is like either up or in a way and I would just prefer to leave my hair alone so let me just show you guys what I'm working with like I'm over here talking but um, my hair right now is just like oh my god the bobby pin is stuck all right you guys this is what i'm working with and as you can see the bottom i don't know if you guys could see it the bottom of my hair you can kind of see through it it never used to be like that 
it never used to be like that so now i'm just kind of like um, um the, as you can see like the top you can't really see through it the way it was it is in the top right now that's how it used to be in the bottom but the bottom you can see through it so never really fully recovered from that first time and because of that i just want to shave everything off i cut the bottom at a certain point and it just didn't it grew back kind of like the same so i just want to shave everything off and start all over okay. thank you guys for watching this video oh my god i, I want to put it back in the ponytail because it's looking crazy thank you guys for watching this video if you haven't already done so yet subscribe and i'll see you in the next video